I first got pregnant at the age of 15. The, the man who made me pregnant never took me to his home. Because this man told me if that child is a boy, it is his. But if it's a girl, it is not his. Even my first daughter here got married at the same age, 16. Even the man which he went for is also the same, like mine. My husband is sometimes he used to, to drink alcohol. So after getting drunk, beating, quarreling, beating, quarreling, so it made me to come back home. At least here, I'm feeling safe because no one is beating me. What I'm facing is only the problem of peace, feeding, sickness, what like that. Mabasirata <laughs> Even medicine is difficult for me to afford for these girls. So it has led me to some extent I started drinking like now because of stress. There was no one who can support me and this is a man who is there. I don't want my daughter to go through what I've gone through. I went to the police when I want to have my second pregnancy. So I went to the police station and they arrested me. That man stayed there like one week. Police, they decided to release him because they say I'm pregnant, so maybe sometimes you make me. There's nobody who can take care of me. The mother disliked me, I want to know why. So when I came there, I cannot have my son back. They decided to release him. So we need support from the government and the NGO. If the NGOs can bring people to talk about girls down here, and they can give supportive things, not give money, give them the panty, give them the pad, give them the soap, what they are looking for, it will be better. You see, my daughter can't ask for pad, you cannot even afford this pad. The what I saw at least government to do, like single, single mothers like this, let them carry at least two or three children to pay their fees. If it's feeding, at least they will dig and feed themselves. But fees, single mother cannot manage. Mambatana, <laughs> 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 